it going everyone, Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and today the Infernus Classic has come out, has been released to GTA Online. It is, I think, $916,000. It's in the $900,000 range in total after you customize it, probably after you add all the performance, it's going to run you upwards of, you know, $1,100,000. Uh, so it is a pretty expensive car. If you are curious as to the performance, how it compares, because it is in the Sports Classic class, I did a video on that. Uh, it's not the fastest, at least compared to the Turismo Classic. The Turismo Classic, which looks like is going to be coming out next week, is actually a little bit faster. But this one is still a, a freaking phenomenal buy. It's, it's so much fun to drive. It's great. I mean, look, the freaking headlights, man. That's so cool. I don't like it's such a little thing, but it's so awesome and just to you bring back the freaking you know nostalgia from previous GTA games. That's I think that's why you gotta own this car. But in this video, I'm gonna have ten amazing paint jobs for you guys for this brand new Infernus Classic. If you are looking you know to to make your car look the best it possibly can. Now what I'll do is I'll leave in the description all the hex codes and all the RGB values you need to make these codes or to make these colors and I'll also link the tutorial I did like a year and a half ago on how to change your crew color so you can get a modded crew color or a modded paint job in G10 line it's really easy to do so if you want any of these colors all the links and all the info will be in the description also this is gonna be your final chance to enter my shark card giveaway if you want one of these cars I'm giving away a shark card so you have money to buy it now with all that out the way Finally, hopping into the colors. We'll start with the simple ones first, the ones that you don't need any crew colors on. I think these are fine. You know, they look cool. This one right here, we just have an all red. This is an all Torino red car. We have the secondary, the uh, the primary, both Torino red. The pearlescent is even Torino red. The interior, I believe that's either a white or a cream. Not much is changed in terms of the uh, customization. Uh, I did add like the spoiler and I added some other stuff. The customization, I wouldn't pay too much attention to because they're it's basically the same in all the cars. This video is mainly about the paint job. But, you know, this first one here, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, red, it's a great looking color here. And if you're going for a simple look, I mean, you really can't beat it here with the red and then that cream interior. Now, this next one is the simpler version of a lot of the colors I'm going to show here in a second. This is not bad. It is a spinnaker purple with a pifster pink pearlescent. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of doing the crew colors, uh, for some of the purples I'm about to show you guys, this is a good alternative. It's not great. I mean, it you know, it's not anything special here. It looks nice. You know, that's like uh, that's pretty obvious as you can see. We got the cream interior, like I said, uh, and I think I have stock rooms for basically all these cars. But that or this is the simpler purple if you don't want to do the crew method for these next few colors but these next few colors are incredible so if you want to have the like original diablo purple then this is the one man this this one is probably one of my favorite paint jobs for this car the purple just fits this car so freaking perfectly uh it is a salmon pink pearlescent that's what gives it the the hint of pink and the the shine there, uh, like I said, the hex and RGB and all stuff will be in the description if you want to use this color. But man, it just looks so nice, especially you can see out here in you know the middle of the day when the sun is shining down. The, the I don't know, it just looks so beautiful, man. So that's why, like I was saying, if you don't maybe want to go through, here I'll come back here and show you a comparison. If you don't want to go through the hassle of doing the crew colors to get this color, then you can just do the pifster pink with the uh, the spinnaker purple. But you are going to be missing out because you can see the one on the left there is a little bit darker and it doesn't look as unique. It doesn't look as, I guess, classic. And that's what most of these colors, they just remind me of classic cars. So that is the first modded or crew purple. This next one is not really different at all from the one I just did. But if you see, because I'm going to have the hex and, and RGBs in order in the description. This will be the one that comes after that, and it's like three shades darker, but that's not even much as you can tell from the comparison here. But the uh, the RGB for this one that I'm in is 53, where the one on the left there is 56. So the one I'm in is just slightly darker, but it's not really that big of a difference. You can choose either one. Since they both look almost identical, it's, it's a great color. Now here we have another purple. This one is a lighter purple, as you can tell. It's uh, almost got a little bit of a... A little bit more pink in it than the other ones but this one is a, a fantastic option if you don't like the darker shades of purple 
but uh, it is it is really similar like I said a lot of these are gonna be similar to the ones that I'm doing because I feel like purple or that I've done because I feel like purple just looks so nice on this car so I wanted to give you guys a few options when it when it came to some really awesome purplish paint jobs and if I come back here you can see somewhat how it compares this one a little bit more pink and then you got purple and then super dark way down there alternatively though if you want a darker version of the color I just showed here is it it's not as purpley it's still like it's just like a darker pinkish purple instead of purplish pinkish which I know is kind of like it's getting a little confusing here but if I go ahead and back it up you can see oh god that's a car it does shine really nicely but here it is compared since they all have uh, salmon pink pearlescent they are going to have you know similar shine but the base paint job on this one is a little bit darker and then lighter and then uh, if I go ahead and get out here and then go into first person you might be able to see a little bit better what I'm talking about but yeah you can see on the right there it's a little bit darker the one on the left has a little bit more shine to it and then you know going down the line I think these are, are definitely the, the best purples and then if you don't want to go through the crew color method then you can stick with the stock purple now those were the purple colors plus the red next one is probably my second favorite one this one I love this color so much because it reminds me of Vice City and it's just it's got like that neon aspect just like a color you think you would have seen in the 80s and that's kind of what I was going for with these paint jobs uh, the pearlescent I believe is an ice white pearlescent I have cream on the interior as well you can change you know some of the customization if you don't like it like if you want to maybe put a black interior with black rims that might look cool to sort of contrast the lighter color of it if you want to change uh, you, you know you can make the engine part there black you can make the spoiler carbon as well so you can do some stuff if you want to but I just you know like I said I didn't want to focus too much on the customization because the paint jobs is ultimately where people are gonna you know compliment you so this one if you like the brighter colors then you know this one's definitely a solid option now if you're a fan of pink I like this one here because there is no pearlescent on it it's just got a a darker pink than you know some of the ones that are in the game and I feel like it fits this car really nicely especially with the the cream interior there similarly to the blue one it does remind me a little bit of vice city just because i guess pink and blue and i guess sort of bright yellow are like the main colors of vice city this is a great color though if you aren't you know a fan of the purples or even the blue and you do want a color that will stand out you know i think a lot of people will compliment you on this one although if you do want a bit darker of a color here we have one and this is the only one I did change the interior. I put a uh, matte black or just a black interior with some black Inferno rims. Just so you can get an idea because I did put cream or like a lighter interior on all the other ones. So just to give you an idea of what a, a darker interior would look like. And I think this one goes really nicely with this color. Uh, it complements it well. And I think the pearlescent on this is a it's either a salmon pink or a dark steel I forget you can change the pearlescent obviously depending on what you like what your preference is if you want a darker pearlescent or if you want a darker color then you can go with you know maybe a silver or a black if you don't want it to shine as much or you can go with a you know uh, salmon pink if you do want it to shine but here is a side by side you can see the one on the left is definitely a little bit brighter but they both look phenomenal and then speaking of Vice City Yellow, boom, here we go. I love this color. And I love it on this car. This actually reminds me of, I, I don't know if this was official artwork or not, but there's a picture out there of the Infernus, sort of like in a Vice City style uh, artistic setting, I guess. And it, I don't know, I, I think this reminds me, this color reminds me of that. So if you don't like any of the colors I've shown, then you know this one, yellow is such a great color. And it fits so perfectly on the on this Infernus Classic here. And it looks so nice with the classic rims, with the cream interior. It doesn't, it's not like super bright or super neon-y, if that makes any sense. But it is a lighter color, so you're not going to, you know, so, or, so you will stand out when you're driving it around. And then the last color, since I have not done a green here we have a lovely green now this one actually has a racing yellow or a race yellow pearlescent and I like this one like I like the yellow one or for the same reasons basically because it's a lighter color and I feel like I just want to say lighter colors 
look the best. That's my opinion, obviously. You can have a different opinion. But in my opinion, these lighter colors just look so much better. The lighter colors that are almost desaturated a little bit, that are almost uh, worn down, just because it's a classic car. And I feel like, you know, those colors, you know, from the 80s would be worn down a little bit. So that's why most of these colors are, uh, you know, they're not super ne neon-ish like you know a bunch of the other modded crew colors you probably have seen in the game but yeah here here's the green one fantastic color and i'll get out here i'll park them all and get out and just show you i think these are some pretty solid colors i mean yeah there are a lot of purples but i do like the purple the most although i will say man it's hard to choose because this green looks incredible this yellow right there looks incredible both of these pinks look incredible and that blue looks amazing so i think these are some solid choices to uh you know to go off of if you do want to or if you did buy the inference classic and you're looking for some really awesome colors if you have your own though you want to share let me know in the comments and let everyone else know in the comment section and also while you're down there let me know what is your favorite color out of these but thank you all for watching please drop the video a like if you did enjoy there'll be a few more videos out later today so hopefully you guys check it out and like i said go enter to win the shark card because i'll be giving away that later today in the afternoon so if you want a free infernus then enter and hopefully you win but thank you all and as always i'll see you guys in the next one